Magandang tayo. Coach Francis po. Coach Francis po. Ah, coach po. <laughs> come, come, come. Turn. Yes. That's a nice haircut, Rolo. <laughs> You look different. <laughs> I would say the purple. Alright guys, Samanyo. We are going to Makati. So tayo ng Dun Bosco Parish. And bibisitahin natin ang ating estudyante. Alright, so it's a beautiful day. Dito rin tayo, siyempre. Kailangan naka-face mask. And siyempre, bakunado na tayo. So, dagdag na safety yan para sa atin. Ito lang natin yung relation ng mamahaling sasakyan at yung maintenance sa pagkuha ng aso o pag-aalaga ng aso. Kung meron kang mamahaling sasakyan, mas mataas din syempre yung maintenance. Mas magandang ganon. Okay? Kung tutusin nga kung maganda na pinanggalingan ng sasakyan mo, chances are yung maintenance, yes, medyo mahal, pero baka naman mas mura yung dolong. Hindi katulad nung kukuha ka ng parang sa mga second hand na sasakyan, Tapos, marami pa lang nakatagong sakit. Marami pa lang kailangan ipaayos. Diba? Parang sa aso lang din yan. Pag, kinu pag kinuha mo sa isang breeder na nag-charge ng medyo mahal, pero sigurado ka naman. Parang brand new. Or, kung kukumpara mo yan doon sa mga nabibili naman na aso sa pet stores, sa mga kartimar, sa mga ganyan, na pinihan ng aso ng mga mura. So, hindi naman sa sinasabi natin huwag kayong kumuha talaga doon or pangit talaga or masama yung ginagawa nila um, ako syempre mas gusto lang din natin is yun kung ano yung mas maganda para sa pet parents and mas maganda doon sa aso kasi marami nga, marami nga sa mga aso na nakukuha or na-adapt from pet stores is questionable Tayo. Kuya, um, meron akong appointment with Brother Farrell. Saan ko kaya siya makikita? Si Brother Dave Bireventura po yata. Kasi meron ditong aso eh. Oo, oh, yun si Samantha, yung German Shepherd. Mm -hmm. Rap, dito po. <coughs> Coach Francis po. Coach Francis po. Ah, Coach po. Ano? <laughs> You're a Bostonian, right? Yes po, father. Kamusta? Kamusta si Sam? Ano yung issues? Kasi meron ko narinig. Gusto ko marinig sa inyo ano yung problema natin kay Sam. Ayaw magpakulong. Ayaw magpakulong siya taon ng taon. Isa po kapag nililigwa po ay nagpumagpalito po. Ah, okay. Yeah. Pati yung ano, yung hyperactivity niya. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I think when he was with you, uh, kailan siya naglalaro? Gabi na, di ba? Ah, baka nang iba na yung schedule niya po dito. Meron kasing laro ng umaga, meron din laro ng gabi. Depende na yun doon sa sob, eh. Kasi nag-aaral ko sa umaga, eh. Oo, oh, ayun. Kung nag-aaral sa umaga, so, kaya po ganun. Kasi wala siyang kalaro ng umaga, which is different sa amin. Ang laro namin is umaga at saka hapon. So sa ngayon, nag adjust siya. Wala siyang magawa ng, ng umaga. Maglalaro ito ng hapon o ng gabi. So yung ayaw kumato. So ano natin? Sala! Sala! Ano na yan? Diba? So, hawakan mo na. And... Bakit kumasok sa akin bigla? Diba? Kung tumukupin ang kato ko, ayaw ko na ako kumasok. Tapos pag iniwan ako po siya, 
Yun, pagtahol, baka hindi siya komportable. Diba? Baka mainit. Baka nang kailangan niya ng tubig. So, so, kung nandito siya sa outdoor dito, maganda meron siya ng water. So, doon na. Tapos, medyo maalinsangan niya yun. Diba? Dahil maalinsangan. So, na, kung maalinsangan para sa'yo, maalinsangan din para kayo sa mata. Kung pwede natin bigyan ng fan, kahit isang personal fan lang dito. If, if for example, lumayo tayo ng konti, Ah, sige po. Hindi, doon. Yan hindi siya. Ah, sige po. Stay. Depende na po kung paano siya nasana. Ah. Ay, nako. Nako wala. <laughs> sige, papasok yung mga hindi natin nalak ng mga higit. Yes. Tapos, father, pag tumataol siya ganito, kunwari, especially, yan. Pag tumataol siya ganyan, Libet! Libet no, libet. Ano ito mo napansin? Libet. Libet po. No? Kasi anong nangyari din, baka nung unang araw hindi siya tumatahol. Nung sumunod ng mga araw, tumatahol na siya. Kasi natutunan niya na pag tumahol ako, may papansin sa akin. Ayun. Yan, di ba? Okay, so nandito tayo ngayon. Tinitray natin si Samantha. Doon. And tinapa-stay natin. Tingnan natin kung gano'ng katagal nila kayang. Ipastay si Samantha Sige Alright, down Gamitin mo yung tali Pull up Okay, tapos you can pull down Sige, down, kaya yan, kaya yan There you go, good Stay Okay, tapos ko siya Okay lang Mahirap pa ang kita Leave it. Pag na-stop it, down. Kaya kailangan pang konti stop. Medyo strict na lang stop. Stop! Pag ganun, balik. Come, come, come. Come. Yes. Balik. Kasi nasa ngayon, gusto niya mag-ipaglaro. Yun laro, mamaya. Yun yung reward niya. Down. Come! Samantha, come! Ngayon, ayaw na. Yes! 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 Reward. Ay, puli siya. May dala ka bang pang ano, plastic? Pandines? Leave it! Come! Pag tumain yung aso Ang ginagawa, pinapawin sa kanila Ay! Traditional po yun, Father? Hindi ba yun? Hindi po Traditional po yun Ang ano kasi, para natuto siya doon, hindi mo papawin sa kanya Ang ginagawa kasi doon dati, kunwari ayaw mo magwiwi yung aso dyan Ang ginagawa nila, hawakan nila sa collar, mumudmud nila yung mukha nila Ano yung sisari po yun? Walang effect yun Meron pong effect, takot yung aso Ah. Pero hindi nila naiintindihan bakit bakit nila bakit mo ginagawa sa kanila. So mas maganda na kaya pala siya lumalayo kanina, titingnan niyo. Lumalayo siya kasi kailangan niya ng ano, tumai, Sumusunod naman siya kanina pero lumayo siya. Sabi niya kailangan ko na magpupo pero hindi niya napansin. <laughs> diba? So yung, kailangan understanding na rin eh. Napakaganda, masarap din magpaglaro ng ganun, di ba? So para yung task na kasi kung lakad-lakad lang hindi yun fun para doon sa naglalakad eh minsan hindi rin fun doon sa aso kasi restricted eh Mawa, kain tayo ngayon kasama siya ano pwede siya sa labas lang I would say thing Opo Ay Sige pa, sige pa Alright, so guys, samayin nyo ako We're gonna go visit one of our students si Rolo, medyo nagkakaroon tayo ng konting issue during the transition period uh, so Rolo stayed with us for, for the boarding school program and we think nagkaroon na ng significant improvement sa kanya, pero nung umuwi siya nagkaroon ng adjustment period, and yun ang gagawin natin ngayon, we're gonna go to Rolo's house, and tingnan natin kung ano yun problema and paano natin matutulungan yun mga pet parents and try to resolve those issues ah sige 
Let's go. Samahan niyo ako. Hi. Hello. That's a nice haircut, Rolo. <laughs> sure. You look different. <laughs> so where do you want to do the inside the house? I would like to first uh, simulate what's going on. Oh, okay. So that's we lot. hang him at this door. Mm -hmm. So we're hanging then and Joshua will be watching TV by the where the arm is. Mm -hmm. And then he'll, I uh, know, he'll I start, I guess he gets bored and then he'll start to try to bite his the side, the the so I'd like to see how you handle him first. We could probably pick up a clue on what's going on with the handling. Yeah, the way well, you pet, the way you give treats perhaps? Because he didn't really show those behaviors when he was yeah. with us. And when does he do the behavior that you are having difficulties with? So it'll be like after breakfast. Mm -hmm. After he eats his breakfast, he gets a little round. And then after, we bring him down here. Okay. Then up, going up the stairs. Pag naglalakad ng pataas, magbabay ko sa pataas. Okay. All right. Okay. So, yeah. So typically, we would want that to just be ignored. Yeah. However, if he's doing that, rather than saying quiet or or what, step on the lead or. Hold the leash. Mm -hmm. Okay, so imagine the leash is Rolo's hand. Just by holding the leash and then keeping tight. Yeah, he usually, he, we do that. We, he usually calms down, he stops, he sits. We ask for a sit. And then um, he'll sit, he'll stop, he'll, he'll stop barking. But then the minute we leave him there, yeah, and then he'll go straight back into it. He'll go back to barking. Right, <laughs> I get it. <laughs> and it can be it. frustrating. Pero again, remember, he's bored. Yeah. You're asking him to stop, but you never ask him to do anything else. Uh, okay. So he is still a puppy, and you'll probably miss this when he's old. Mm. When he's old and he doesn't even want to play or interact anymore, or even bark. Or probably he'd bark, but he would probably stay in a corner, sleep, not move at all. Okay. It's something that you would miss. Mm. Uh, this is not a problem. This is an opportunity. Okay, Rolo wants to play, wants to interact. Uh -huh. One reason why we never had this behavior in mm -hmm. school, because, he was like, because he's busy <laughs> playing with friends, uh, and even not playing with, with, with friends, I have my staff who attends to him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? So here, especially... I have chicken breast which he loves. Okay, we'll, we'll try that. This is dehydrated uh, pork. You'll notice because when he's bored, he's going to try to first start barking. Asking for attention, yeah. and then most dogs would probably try to do something else to solicit behavior. Okay. Uh, okay. We are going to try to teach him a new game that would probably burn his energy way quicker than playing fetch. So what I'm gonna do is first keep it open, get him used to getting the treat from our cup. Let's just say that's our cup. Okay. All right, in three rounds, this dog is gonna be somehow tired, mm -hmm. uh, at least for starters, but eventually yeah, they right. get better at it. You just have to ante the difficulty. All right, so now, <laughs> you're too close. All right, that's okay. This does not require basic obedience. Okay. So I'm, not, I'm now going to play a little bit of a shell game, see? This is it? This is it? Oh, you said, all right, here you go, you got rewarded. So we're turning him into a treat sniffing dog. Okay, and uh, I got specific training to do this. So I know what I'm doing. How often is enough like brain stimulation or physical activity for him? Every day. In a day, I mean. 45 minute high intensity playtime. 
It's a popular requirement. Mm. For humans, it's 15 minutes per day. Okay. Like you do HIIT training. Uh -huh. Have you tried it? Yeah, yeah. It's gonna kill you, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's see if you, I already forgot where it is. But I trust Rolo. This is it. Oh, there you go, you got it. Okay. All right, now. I think we already have three rounds. We're going to add another one. And then, bigger reward. Spread it out. And I'm going to give him a command. Okay. All right, fine. Go fine. Now I can ask for a set for me to open this. Yes! There you go. But for now, I'd like you to try it. Okay, so can you just put sit here? I will be holding a rollo. I just need you to assist with me in playing the game. This will help build your confidence because I understand that it happens a lot and it's yeah. normal for even the family members to be afraid of their own dog. And I've resolved a lot of cases like this and I understand. Okay, so just make yourself comfortable. Sit on the floor, okay? Just place a small tree, and then all you have to do is put it upside down and set it up for, for us. Now, you give the command, say, find it. Mm, find it? Oh, you okay. need to put a little bit more energy on that. I have to. Okay, here, hold the leash. At least you're not holding him directly, okay? You're in complete control because you have the leash. Mm -hmm. Now, so go ahead and say, find it. Uh, roll up. Roll up. Roll up. Find it. I'm not putting okay. it in here. Good, that's fine. Good. Now what you can do is take him away. We know where it is. There you go. Good. That's fine. Alright. So, in order for you to further develop a relationship with Rolo, mm -hmm. that Rolo would stop nipping your hand, your finger, or foot, or whatever part of your body. Um, you know what they say, that dogs won't bite the hand that feeds them? Right? This is a look of a happy dog. Mouth open, comfortable, relaxed. I think he's actually ready for his nap. Because if we played with him, uh -huh. we interacted, that's training. It might look super super simple, simple. for us. Uh -huh. That's a workout for them. Okay. See, that's a happy face. Mouth open, tongue yeah, out, yeah. panting normally. And see, we need you need help in trying to, you know, yeah. handle to handle, give what Rolo needs, at least for for the next few months back, until he matures. Small dogs naman kasi they mature fairly quickly. Uh -huh. Pero again, um, the best dogs to train are the dogs that are uh, naughty dogs, that are full of mischief. Yeah. They do that because they're bored. Right. When he's older, I'm just wondering, when he's older, is it is it better to get him like a friend, like a brother, or like, is that not advisable? No. Really? <laughs> Sorry. Remember that? I thought it would develop later No. Because you would have to jumpstart all the ages that you just had. Oh, God. Teaching the new dog. <laughs> Josh is like going, no, no, bro. <laughs> so like, not. Nah. If you get another dog, you're just... Your issues now times two. That's true. But that's if not, you're easy. just going to jumpstart all over again. Wow. Okay. Hey, buddy. You gotta go. You'll do well. Huh? Do well, huh? I'll see you in school so you get to play. Yeah. All right? I feel like he likes it there because he gets to play. It's just that like he gets sick and so he Yeah, bring him back soon. Yeah. Maybe next week. When he, because he's recovering now, he's good. No more pooping the blood and stuff, but we want to get him a, a good week back to rest. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like my dog, Serena, yeah, she yeah. has a weak immune system. Oh, yeah. So we have to check her once in a while. Wow! You like it, don't you? Yeah. Say hello to the camera. <laughs> You're going to be in my vlog. <laughs> huh? You're going to be in my vlog. Uh -huh. Oh, I better go. Thank you I better so go. Much for yeah, it's a pleasure. Thank you so much for having me.